we're heading to Mammoth Lakes for the weekend. Uh, basically, we'll be there for 36 hours. We're staying at the Sierra Nevada Resort and Spa, and online it had really mixed reviews. But yeah, so I'm a little scared. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. we're hoping it's an okay hotel to stay at because we're limited on hotels to stay at since we have our dogs. And yeah, we booked last minute. Although um, it's a very pet friendly location, mm -hmm. uh, it's a small town, so yeah. Um, they do have a Westin there, which is super dog friendly. We've seen a lot of reviews on YouTube, people mm -hmm. staying there, but they were fully booked, so yeah. we couldn't even get a spot there if we wanted to. Yeah, we really wanted to come here because they have a lot, like basically this whole town is pet friendly. We're gonna visit several lakes and uh, have some fun with our dogs there. We are almost at our hotel. There's a grocery store over here. Grocery outlet. Oh, grocery store this way? Yeah, see, grocery outlet. Grocery outlet. Right there. Back there. Oh, this is us. Sierra Nevada Resort and Spa. Oh. Okay, so we just checked in and we have about, I think, like 10 15 more minutes before the sun sets. So we're going to go to Lake Mary. Um, we're going to try to catch the sunset at Lake Mary because it's only 15 minutes from the hotel. So we're going to barely make it. But we just wanted the dogs to do something, um, you know, let some energy out too since they've been in the car for about five hours. starting to show so we'll probably miss the, uh, the actual rise of the sun but I think the colors will be really pretty. and picnic tables here, it's nice. Can we not gonna go in the water? <laughs> She's like these rocks though. <laughs> is really bright right now but this morning we came for the sunrise and you don't actually see the sunrise from this it's angle behind us mm -hmm. yeah but you see all like the beautiful colors yeah i didn't think i was gonna see it so when i when i, I turned around for a moment to mm -hmm. go yell at zoe for something and i turned around it was like orange so mm -hmm. i was a little yeah. surprised to see that <laughs> very very beautiful and then there's lots of fishermen and uh, zoe was having a lot of fun running back and forth mm -hmm. going into the water So we're gonna move on. Um, I think we're gonna go get some breakfast. Yeah, that's, that's, I'm kind of hungry right yeah. now. So we're gonna get breakfast back at the hotel. Okay, so we are right here at Convict Lake, and you can actually hike around this lake. It's a total of three miles, and it says it's moderately easy. We've seen quite a few hikers already go down. Mm -hmm. um, get here early though. I guess it's already pretty full parking lot. 
Yeah. And it's 7. For 7 a.m. It is kind of cool. Well, I mean, it's a small parking it's lot. Very small. Um, so, some you know, there's there. some here. Yeah. There's a few here, back over here. And then there's lots of street parking over there. So we just went back to the hotel, uh, freshened up a bit, and now we're gonna walk to the warming hut for breakfast. Yeah, we saw that they have homemade ketchup and pure maple syrup. So, Crystal loves pancakes. Oh, uh, love, and pure maple syrup. Oh, looks nice, like a nice outdoor area. So cute. Yeah. Thank you so much. The warming house. Got a nice table out here. Yeah. <laughs> Jenna's already settled in down there. Oh wow, that's a lot. A lot of stuff. <laughs> wow. See, they have the one cake, two cake, the pancake. Oh yes. Very, very, very excited. I like the pancakes. DIYs. Yeah, that's. Lots to choose from here. I got the um, hummus bagel. Hummus Plus bagel. Homemade, uh, house made hummus, which I was like, oh, it's interesting. Yeah. With um, sprouts, tomato, cucumber, and then egg is extra. I got the uh, the double stack pancakes. You can get like one, two, three. You can just pick how many you want. I didn't think it was going to be this big. And that's supposed to be real maple syrup, and then some scrambled eggs, and some bacon. You guys ready for another adventure? Ready for another lake? <laughs> Kuma seems like she's ready. So he's taking a nap. Okay, so we're at June Lake now and it looks gorgeous. There's like a large uh, beach area. I think we passed it though because when we put June Lake in uh, Google Maps and Apple Maps, it took us to the uh, small town marina area. So now we're kind of backtracking and trying to go to where the beach area is because it looks really nice. The lake is super clear, bright blue right now. But I did see a sign that said June Lake Loop and I believe that's where you're supposed to turn. So I'm trying to find it now. cars coming out so we're hoping we could yeah. get a spot it is lunchtime yeah it looked really crowded so we'll see if we could snag a spot these two are already ready for it yeah. what's that face work gonna why give me that look what's going on <laughs> i kind of heard it but not all of it <laughs> sorry, sorry. Okay. What he said was the parking lot is completely full right now, so they're not letting anybody in because nobody's coming out. Um, but there is a dirt lot up the road, so we're gonna try to do that. This is kind of a walk, I think. All right, so yeah, we've been driving for a couple minutes now, and it seems pretty far, this dirt lot that he's talking about. Well, there is one guy walking right here. We're like, hey, did you come from the beach? It's like really far up. I think it's right here. Okay, here it is. Yeah, this is far. I'm gonna ask these girls. Like, hey, are you guys gonna actually walk down to the beach? We saw this one guy walking up the hill when we were coming to this dirt lot. But I asked him, like, hey, did you go down to the beach? And he's like, oh no, I didn't make it. He's like, yeah, it's like three miles, like two to three miles. So. Oh, that's a long walk. Yeah, so I don't think it's good for us with the dogs to go down. It's, no. Plus it's like hot concrete that we'll have to go down. I mean, we could drive down one more time in mm -hmm. about 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah, might try that and yeah. see. All right, so we came back and that guy wasn't there anymore. So they're allowing people to come back and park again. So we parked on the street. We're kind of way up still though. All right, here we go down the hill. You gonna make it? 
So there are restrooms here, so that's good. Candy really needs to use the restroom. It was a little too packed too for packed us. For yeah. So we were only there for like a little bit and wanted the dogs to get in the water, which they really loved. Beautiful area. We saw a lot of kayakers and um, families. Yeah, some people, they have, they have a serious setup with like tents and like- Like grills and grills, stuff. Grills, and I'm like, wow, they have, they, they have this whole day planned. Yeah, <laughs> like, they, so, they really did. Yeah. So now we're hungry again, and we're gonna go check out a place called The Eatery, which is back in town where our hotel um, is located. I've read mixed reviews online. Um, we'll see, we passed by last night and it was packed. Yeah. Uh, but it was all outside, so. Mm -hmm. We'll get a, be able to get a table outside. It's past lunch already, so I'm hoping yeah. that it won't be busy. Fingers crossed. Yeah. So the eatery was way too packed. There was actually a huge line uh, to get seated. So we decided not to eat there. And plus it started raining and we wanted to sit outside with the dogs. So it wasn't gonna work out. Um, so we decided to eat near our hotel. And there was this place called The Blue, I believe. Oh, Blue Handcrafted Food. So I looked it up on Yelp and they had really great reviews. So um, we just decided to order food from here and then we're gonna eat back in our hotel room. So yeah, I ended up getting the beef tri-tip sandwich and it comes with some chips and candy got... I got the turkey avocado sandwich Yeah. with mayo on the side. And oh my gosh, their bakery, everything looks so freaking delicious. Yeah, we like went all out. I got like an apple cinnamon muffin. Lemon thing, and then Crystal's so sweet. She got me like lemon cookies because she knows I like lemon stuff, yeah. obviously, because I got yeah. this. <laughs> so now we're heading to Hot Creek Geological Site. So they describe it like as a mini Yellowstone. Well, they have hot pools of steaming water. So um, they said there's plenty of parking there and it's a quick walk down. So we're just gonna go check it out. And then right after that, we're gonna go to Wild Willie's Hot Springs. And they say that this is one of the coolest things to do at Mammoth Lakes. Um, it is a real hot springs in like the middle of the plains it looks like. So we're not gonna actually go in the hot springs, but we do want to walk down to it and just see it. We just wanted to go to during sunset to look at the views and the scenery, cause it looked really nice out there. About a mile and a half before you reach this uh, site, you <laughs> go into some Dirt unpaved. roads. Yeah, it's yeah. unpaved. It's so. unpaved. So just be aware. Kuma's not liking this. Um, Kuma's like, this is not right. <laughs> unpaved roads are not fun. Not fun at all. Okay, well here we are. Your destination is on the left. There's definitely lots of parking. It's so windy. Oh my god. It's so windy that we had to, uh, well, we have to wear masks anyway, but we're wearing our sunglasses too, so we can keep the dust out of our eyes. We are standing in the bottom of a large volcanic basin. 
Oh, I see the steam coming up. Where? You see it? Oh, yeah. So that's indeed hot. Yeah, how bright blue that is. We just left Hog Creek Geological Site, which was really um, neat to see. It kind of reminded me of Iceland. Um, they have areas like that with uh, neat, you know, rock structures. And my, my voice is like, oh, because we're still on dirt roads. Uh, right now we're making our way to uh, the hot springs, but the entire way probably will be dirt roads. Oh, Oh my gosh, this is such a narrow road. This is crazy. Than rocks. Yeah, definitely better than the rocks, but yeah, it's just like one little narrow dirt road. Oh. <laughs> car is okay. I hope so too. I hope I paid it. No, this is pretty tough. Oh, I don't know if my car is going to make it. <laughs> Yay, we're back on paved road for a second. And then we have to go back on dirt roads again. All these cars are going that way. Doing okay there? Okay. I know this is really unsettling. Okay, we see a parking lot now, so we're good. <laughs> but yeah, for a little bit there, we're a little bit worried about where we were going and if we were gonna make it out. <laughs> I guess they're just making up spots now. Yeah, I guess so. It's pretty full. You're doing a good job balancing there. Are you gonna go on that skinny one? Dang girl! Oh, there's hot springs over there with a bunch of people. Three. I only read oh, two. three. There's three. There's another one down here. And there's one down over there. <laughs> so it's a quarter of a mile, probably 10 minutes. 10 minutes to walk. Yeah. It's slower for us because we have dogs. Yeah, the dogs, yeah. yeah it's a nice spot to relax, but a lot of people on these, so definitely not going in. <laughs> I think I'm like people putting mud on their face, too. Yeah, I noticed that, too. I actually like the surroundings. Me, too. Even the walk on the way here was really pretty. Yeah. Like in the middle part. Yeah. The background was gorgeous. It was. So then we're just gonna like take some pictures around here and then head back. Yeah. These colors are coming up, huh? Yep, it's exactly six. We just parked. Yeah, uh, we parked at Lake Mary, and this is our last day in uh, Mammoth Lake. So we didn't really get to explore Lake Mary last time, so we thought we'll stop by here one more time to see the sunrise here, or probably the sunrise colors. I'm not sure if like the sun will rise behind the mountains here or if it's behind us, but oh, yeah. We had to see some kind of colors, I hope. Uh, we're both super tired this yeah. morning. It was about a 15 minute drive from our hotel. Mm -hmm. It's a really easy drive. Yeah. Um, the only tricky part about Lake Mary is like 
where to find a good spot um, for a good yeah. viewing and everything. There's like no parking lot. It's just all, you just find a spot on the side of the lake. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty um, interesting compared to the other lakes we've been to as far as like parking and yeah. finding a good spot. What, what do you see now? What is it? Okay, let's go see. Let's go see. What is it? Yeah. <laughs> that looks fun, Zoe. Oh, are you bring your stick up here? <laughs> wow. Kuma's like so jealous. She's like, I want to go up the Oh, oh, oh. Did you just fall? Oh, there they go. <laughs> Kuma, you look so cool. You look adventurous. You look like Kuma the Adventurer. Oh, yes. Wow. 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 <laughs> the usual colors that we've been seeing at Mammoth Lakes this morning but it was still a nice little area for the dogs to play around in. They played around in the woods a lot. Uh, Zoe went down to the lake a little bit. Actually Kuma did too and dipped her toes in for her dad. I think this is the best spot for the dogs to run around. Actually. Yeah, yeah. Because there's no one here mm -hmm. and there's a lot to like jump on. Yeah, there's um, like rocks, there's like these tree trunks. So yeah. they were like having fun, <laughs> like being little acrobats. Yeah, they were so cute running around. <laughs> yeah. My babies. It's always like I'm going back. Can you just stay here, guys? <laughs>